we have an update. Oh, we have an update for the NES Classic Edition. Woo! So they hacked it more so to uh, a new version where you are now allowed uh, no more game limits because they figure out how to upload them in batches. I think it's batches of uh, 60 games. So you can just do a batch upload and get them on there instead of only just doing the one batch of adding the 60. So th this is good news. This is getting to the point where I am actually start to look into this more. I'm like, okay, if I have a free few hours or people say, oh, it takes a half hour, whatever. The whole point is that if I have a rainy day, rainy day Sunday afternoon, rainy day, that's too specific. If I have time to do this at some point, I think I'll at least do this and try it. Um, and I have I have one as well. Just in case, in case I break the first one. But this first one's probably going to go to someone that wants it and add the games that they want. But uh, it supports folders and pages now for the hack. And this is the Hackshi. Hackshi uh, 2.11. So you can have folders and pages, which I think is good because I think one, one of the things that people weren't taking into account uh, with the original, with 90 games, you can scroll through that fairly quickly. How are you going to scroll through the NES Classic Edition at that speed with 600 plus games? That's going to take you a few minutes to get to a game. That's not going to be a quick a quick one. There's no like fast scrolling feature on the NES Classic Edition. I mean, it's it's there's no like there's no like skip 50 games or skip 100 games. Let's say put that in. That'd be cool. So it's good that you have folders, I guess, for the letter. That'd be great. Uh, it'll automatically create and sort games uh, alphabetically. Great, great. Uh, there's 655 games that they verified according to this update with no errors. We're getting there. We're getting there, folks. They're they're working their way. They're drilling inside of this bad boy uh, to doing that. But that's still six six hundred or six hundred is respectable. But hey, I want to play Action 52 too. You know. Um, but now they're getting to the space limit. Uh, 512 meg of free space that you can use on the NES Mini. Da -da -da -da. And you can probably get. This is from the, the commentary. You can probably get over 800 ROMs into it before damaging it. Always make sure to back up the original kernel before making any changes. So, okay, here's a list of the updates to this version. Uh, da -da. Yep, you have the folders page support. No more games limit. Automatically create folders and sort games alphabetically. Tested with over 600 ROMs. Everything working, including save states. You can select maximum games per page folder, but it's recommended to limit it to 3035. Uh-oh. So you can't just do like a folder with all the S games. Multi-step uploading. Uh, da, da, da. Hack, hack sheet 2 will split up the uploads and upload in sequence uh, in the kernel. Uh, mass cover downloading. That's pretty cool. You can download covers for all games at once using first image on Google. What if that fir first image isn't accurate or isn't a cover? <laughs> IPS patcher can enlarge ROMs now. Uh, da, 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 da. That's, for, that's for the largest... ROMs out there, probably like the uh, Koei games, for example, are usually the larger ROMs. New patches for problem games, new confirm mapper. Uh, da -da. So they're, they're starting to get there. We'll see. Support for some bad ROMs. Full Famicom Mini support. Japanese font customizable original games list. Oh, so you can actually get the Famicom Mini stuff off of that and onto the NES Classic, Classic Edition. That's because it's the same guts. That's pretty cool. Auto Fire. That's really sweet. Auto fire. Hold select plus A and B for a second to enable auto fire. Da, da, da. Also, X Y buttons on the on the classic controller will now act as auto fire A B. Shit! What if I want to use those X Y just as regular A B though? Hmm. I guess it's during the menu menu can disable that. The start button simulation for the second controller. Hold up plus A plus B to press start. It's a workaround for some USA games on Famicom Mini. Oh, uh, I see. If you want to play like, um, you want to play uh, a Nintendo World Championships, that's the way to do it with only one controller. Uh, da -da, disable menu music. Why do you want to disable the menu menu music? It's bubbly. And then other stuff. Oh, where's the home button? Is that? I thought they were going to put the home button in. Am I missing that with this one? I heard that they, they, they cracked that. They got the home button command now. Oh, man. Oh, well, they'll get there, I guess. All right, so I'm, I'm there. I'm on board. I don't need my retro pie or my uh, uh, my PSP. Forgot that last time. PSP, you can get all the ROMs in there. Or my little little Chinese knockoff phone that acts like a smartphone or a PSP device. I, my, my my friend John has one of those. I recommend one. Those are all, those are pretty cheap. They basically act like little devices you can load on emulators and stuff, and they have buttons. They have buttons. They have buttons and sounds and screens. All right, 
Yeah, classic edition. Hack this.